We're also talking about a transgender woman from Guatemala who appealed to the Supreme Court after an immigration judge denied her asylum in the U.S. despite claims of gender violence and discrimination. Estrella Santos Zacarias was deported to Mexico in 2019. She says that her safety remains under threat there, and her attorney says her case before the high court could be a matter of of life or death. She is asking the justices to allow a federal court to review her removal from this country and give her another shout, or a shot rather, at making case for asylum. To discuss, ABC News Senior Washington correspondent Devin Dwyer. So Devin, you were at the oral arguments in this case today. Did the court seem receptive to Ms. Santos Zacharias' claims about what happened? First, Kira, this is just a gut-wrenching case. Ms. Santos Zacharias, she's 33 years old, and court documents said she fled Guatemala when she was 12 years old, had been sexually assaulted. Uh, she came to the U.S. She was deported, uh, as you said there, in 2019 after uh, a judge rejected her claims about potential for future persecution. She's been waiting in Mexico. Her attorney told me yesterday, Kira, she was attacked at a bus stop by three men last week. She had recently been bludgeoned unconscious at her workplace. Interestingly, none of that came up today in the courtroom, but the arguments were highly technical. They were about jurisdiction in her case, way in the weeds on immigration procedure and policy. But the question on the table is, should the federal courts be able to review the decision of American immigration officials when they decide someone should be deported? Uh, and a majority of the justices, I have to say, Kira, seemed receptive to giving Ms. Santos Zacharias a second chance in federal court to, to make her claims, to possibly get asylum. Certainly, the Supreme Court isn't going to grant that. But it did appear like when the uh, decision comes down sometime in June, perhaps, uh, that she might get a second shot. So her legal team, Australia's legal team, cited another instance when a transgender woman deported from the U.S. to Honduras was murdered after returning home. Her lawyers say that she faces the same fate if she's forced back to Guatemala, right? But the Biden administration is arguing against that appeal. Why? Yeah, the State Department, Kira, says outright uh, in their documents online that conditions for LGBTQ people in Central America, Guatemala, Mexico, very, very dangerous and certainly a cause for many people to seek asylum. Uh, the Biden administration is supportive of trans rights, so you might wonder, what are they doing on the other side of this case? Well, it really has nothing to do with this particular woman. The government argues, Kira, and they did so today, uh, that federal courts should stay out of the process, that immigration officials uh, need the discretion, need the freedom to make these decisions uh, quickly at the border. And in Ms. Santos Zacharias' case, they did that. Uh, so sort of an awkward position for the administration, but perhaps she'll get a second chance uh, to make that case. And a decision on this case is expected in the spring, right? Uh, that's right. And we'll see from the justices whether she gets that shot. And a lot on the line for so many asylum seekers, Kira, just 11 uh, percent of asylum seekers last year, some 30,000 people out of more than 200,000 actually had their asylum claims heard. So if this case goes in her favor, it could mean a lot of those people turned away could get a second chance uh, at making their claims uh, in court, Kira. All right. We'll continue to follow the story with you, Devin. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.